Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, it's a little bit more thoughtful. I want this to be food for thought for you guys. I'm going to be talking about the alter ego palettes and how they compare to the Natasha Denona. And most importantly, I really just want to get a conversation going and get your feelings about how we feel about these copycat brands. So let's get into it. <laughs> Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I'm a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And if you are a regular follower of mine, then you know Natasha Denona is very near and dear to my heart. I love Natasha Denona. They are most definitely one of my favorite brands. And as far as eyeshadows go, I think they are top of the market. One of the best. Amazing. They're also quite, quite pricey. So full transparency here. The brand Alter Ego has reached out to me a couple of times and I've never really been very interested in responding just because I don't really know how I feel about these copycat brands. So if you've never heard of Alter Ego, basically they do big mainstream palettes and make them kind of their own. Basically they copy all the shades in the palettes and then kind of rearrange them a little bit. I personally have never been interested in the brand mostly because I am very fortunate enough that I am able to buy the real deal. So if I can have the real deal, why would I pick up the copycat, you know? But after a little bit of thought, I did end up posting on my story asking you guys what your thoughts are on Alter Ego. Since I am such an expert on Natasha Denona, if you would be interested in hearing how I thought that they compared. I would never have bought these palettes and they were sent to me. I did eventually end up responding to Alter Ego because I was curious. I've heard some very good things about these Alter Ego palettes and me being the Natasha Denona lover that I am and the little makeup enthusiast that I am, I'm like, I need to know more. I'm just curious if they really do compare to the Natasha Denona because people seem to be liking these palettes. So I did respond and I said, you know what? Feel free to send me the palettes, not guaranteeing any post or anything. I'm just curious. <laughs> and they did end up sending the palettes, not working with them in any way, just doing this because I was curious and I know some of you guys were too. Now, when I posted my thoughts on Instagram, I would say I got about a 50-50 response. Half of you guys were like, mm-mm, absolutely, no way, would not support a company that does that, that takes away from the creativity of another person. And then the other half of you were like, oh yeah, I'm really interested, I want to know, it seems like you can get a great deal off of this, much cheaper than Natasha Denona. So it really was an even split. And I can understand both sides of the copycat kind of makeup brand because in one way I don't like it I don't like it because somebody's creative idea is being stolen and then somebody else is making money off of somebody else's idea and I think that that is a side that I am more leaning towards however I definitely understand the other side because I get countless messages from people saying how much they love Natasha Denona's palettes but they simply cannot afford them and it's their dream to own a Natasha Denona palette and for those people I mean if I was in their shoes I wouldn't see anything wrong with purchasing an Alter Ego palette because I want you to at least have the color story, you know? One of the benefits I think of these copycat brands is so many people, you know, you guys want to copy my tutorials, you want to follow along, and if you cannot afford the product, this is a great way that you are able to recreate looks without having the exact palette, without having to spend $129. So my personal standpoint, I am not going to judge anybody that purchases from any sort of copycat brand because I totally understand why and copycatting whatever account uh duping makeup it's not a new concept there are so many dupes that we purchase as well without even noticing or maybe with noticing even if you purchase a certain style a lot of times that stems from the idea of a designer brand that in a million years I would never be able to afford. So I think without even being conscious of it, many of us support these dupe ideas that 
somebody else is profiting off of somebody else's idea. If you shop at Forever 21, all of their stuff is taken from other people's ideas. So it's not a new concept, and I think morally it's very hard to be able to support that, but at the same time, we all do it without knowing it. And at the end of the day, Natasha Denona palettes are pricey. Natasha Denona is a big brand. She makes a lot of money, which makes me feel a little bit better. I would have a strong stance against this brand if they were copying like smaller indie brands. I know Manny MUA has done a lot of videos, not a lot, but I've seen videos on this topic from him and I love the way that he puts like, it sucks. Him being a indie brand owner and having Makeup Revolution copy his ideas, I'm sure it feels horrible. So I feel a little bit better that they are doing mostly Natasha Denona bigger brands and at least palettes that are over $100 that are very, very pricey. It's when they would start to do, you know, those smaller indie brands or even more affordable makeup where I'm like, but why? So I want to do my kind of review and comparison from a more neutral standpoint. I did want to start off with what my thoughts are and I absolutely want to hear your thoughts on this topic. I think it is a great discussion and it's kind of a new thing to happen in the makeup industry and I think it's definitely worth talking about. I'm definitely open to hearing your thoughts, whether it is completely against or for this kind of thing. Literally, it's just as a topic that interests me. But being the curious cat that I am, I really wanted to know if these were as good as people were saying they were. So I've spent the last three days doing looks, watching, comparing, and I got some thoughts. I do. <laughs> so let's get started with the first palette. So let me pull up the Alter Ego website so I can make sure I'm getting the prices right for you. Immediately, one difference that is going to be from Natasha Denona to Alter Ego. For one, let's just talk about the Artemis palette. For example, this is $22. This is obviously a copy of the <laughs> Natasha Denona Metropolis versus this price, which is $129. So 22, 129, big price difference. The Alter Ego is supposed to have a 12 month shelf life. Natasha Denona 24, Natasha Denona is made in Italy. And then Alter Ego is made in the PRC, which I would assume that's where it would be made. Now I have three palettes from Alter Ego that they sent me. Artemis, like I said, which is the Metropolis, the Aurora, which is going to be the Sunrise, and then the Goddess, which is gonna be one of my favorite palettes from Natasha Nono. <laughs> And we have Goddess, which is a copy of the gold palette from Natasha Denona, which is one of my favorites. And I'm very excited to share my thoughts about the alter ego with you guys. So we're actually going to go palette by palette. And I'm going to tell you my thoughts because I feel like I do have some different thoughts for each palette. So we're going to go ahead and do the palette that I am currently wearing. I did do a live tutorial so you can see the differences in application. This is the only tutorial that I did. So like like I said, the Artemis palette is $22. It's over a $100 difference compared to the $129 Metropolis palette. As far as the packaging differences go, this is like a patent. I don't know how to describe the Natasha Denona, but the Artemis is quite a heavy duty cardboard. Honestly, it feels pretty good quality. Um, you can see that about the same color, but definitely a different design here. The Artemis is a bigger palette and what I do like is that the Artemis actually has the shades on the back but they also have the shades on the actual palette. You have a nice big mirror whereas the Natasha Denona, the names are going to be on this little plastic flap. It's just it's different. The packaging is different, but take a look at the layouts compared to each other. Ooh, I just dug my finger in the shadows. So you can see that the colors are placed in different spots, but they're like the same color. So take a closer look here. And you can see the texture differences right in the pan, I feel like. So they aren't going to be the same like formula. I don't know. <laughs> 
obviously they're not gonna be the same formula but here are my thoughts so right now I am showing you my arm swatches now there's a lot of colors in the, these palettes so I couldn't do every single color but I just did the ones that immediately caught my eye and I would say of the three palettes this is the one where the colors weren't exactly the same now some of the colors actually really were exactly the same but I feel like maybe because there's just more colors that there were some differences between a few of the colors but really I don't think the differences are enough to be noticeable on the eye I also could feel as I was doing each swatch and I was doing the same color at, at a time so I would swatch a yellow color from the Natasha Denona and then with my second finger I would swatch the alter ego and the Natasha Denona does feel creamier it feels more pigmented. The Artemis, not quite as creamy. It almost feels a little bit sticky. So I feel like the Natasha Denona is not as hard pressed, whereas the Alter Ego, there's not as much fallout. There's not as much powder. So they definitely feel different, but honestly, very, very close by the way that they look. I was quite impressed. So I'm going to take you into the tutorial so that you can see the look that I created. This one's Natasha Denona. This one is Alter Ego. And I will kind of tell you my experiences as I go. Okay, so this eye right here, my left, is going to be the real, why did I forget what this is called? The Metropolis palette. And then on my right eye is going to be the Artemis palette from Alter Ego. Ego. I haven't done a side by side yet, so I'm gonna start off with the mustardy kind of color right here. And I'm gonna use that as a transition color. For the most part, I would say that this palette is what I felt like had most differences in colors. Like, I mean, very, very, very pretty much undetectable, especially once they get in the eye. But based on the swatch by swatch comparisons, these two palettes I felt like were the most different and then I believe the matchup in the alter ego is gonna be hunt I'm gonna wipe my brush off and I would say this looks a little bit more orange than the Natasha Denona but not really now that I'm blending it out and maybe it's not spreading out quite as seamlessly as the Natasha Denona and I'm going in like a one dip extra being extra specific <laughs> Let's go green today. So we're gonna go into this shade right here. I'm switching the brush that I'm using. So this was the first time that Natasha Denona tried out her weird cream powder matte. Maybe it wasn't the first time, but I feel like when this palette came out, she still was trying to figure out this matte hybrid formula. So it's better, but it's still not perfect, if you ask me. And then Stunt is gonna be the dupe in the alter ego. So I feel like that Natasha Denona formula wasn't perfected. So honestly, the alter ego, I might prefer it just a little bit more. I'm just playing around, getting my bearings. We're gonna use this dark, dark green color. Stealth is the match in the, in the alter ego. Then just for a little added depth, we're gonna go into this color right here. It's like a really deep greenish navy. And I'm gonna pop this right in the outer corner. And then we're gonna go in with a different brush to kind of blend it all out. It's gonna be interesting to see how Ambush from Alter Ego matches up. I mean, pretty close, you guys. I feel like the difference with these is going to be wear time because I feel like the Natasha Denona holds its color better. Like if you over blend this, the color disappears and then you have to dip in again. But as far as like initial application, putting it on, they're very, very close to each other. I'm gonna go for the gusto and we're gonna go in with this shade right here. For sake of trial, I am not going to be using my brush wet, though I feel like I would prefer to use the brush right let me just use my finger because this is gonna make a mess all over my face gorgeous as always miss denona pursuit right here is gonna be the match for alter ego it's definitely not as refined as the natasha denona like you can tell in the natasha denona that there's little tiny kind of micro fine sparkles in there 
I'm not getting that from the alter ego. And the alter ego feels a little bit more sticky, I guess. So I feel like you're actually gonna get a little bit more fallout from the Natasha Denona. But that folly outiness from the Natasha Denona is also what adds a little bit of extra dimension and pizzazz. Pretty darn close, you guys. Pretty darn close. We're gonna finish off with the most yellow gold color right up in here. Just a little pop and it's gonna bring out that mustardy color that we used. And Spear is the equivalent. And the Natasha Denona formula is much, much more creamy than the Alter Ego as far as this specific shade goes. But I think that the Alter Ego shimmer formula is a little bit easier to apply with a brush. Whereas Natasha Denona, I think, requires more of a finger because the Natasha Denona feels a little bit less hard pressed. But I like that because I feel like I can add more dimension to the lid because of that. So I think this is what we're gonna do as far as shadow, as you can see, pretty close. There's actually more fallout with the Natasha Denona. Overall, it is a gorgeous look and pretty much you cannot tell I used two different palettes. The only thing I will say, I did get some more fallout with the Natasha Denona and it's a little bit more dimensional on the Natasha Denona side. Much more of a refined finish to the eye, but it's also a little bit more messy, which I find interesting. Like I said, the Alter Ego is a little bit more hard pressed and it's not as refined and the colors are a little bit more sticky so they stick to the eye more. It's a touch more flat but it also is a bit more clean looking i mean overall you can't tell the difference it's just because i'm right here in front of the mirror looking for differences where i think the differences in these two palettes are going to lie is wear time because i do find and this is just across the board because i have played with the other palettes as well i do feel like the artemis or the alter ego is a lot easier to wash away so you can easily over blend with the alter ego as opposed to the natasha denona where i dip in once or twice in natasha denona and i have the pigment there whereas alter ego the pigment's there there in the beginning but then as I keep rubbing my brush and blending the color does kind of go away so you do have to dip in more you do have to layer more with the alter ego overall though pretty impressed with the alter ego I'm not gonna lie given the price differences a hundred and seven dollar difference that is very very large I think overall the Natasha Denona formula is better for sure, but I don't know if it's a $100 difference. I really don't. And I think how I would justify Natasha Denona over Alter Ego, if this matters to you, is the formula is probably better in the Natasha Denona. The formula has a longer shelf life. It's made in Italy, so that's gonna be more expensive. I think the wear time is better with the Natasha Denona. So the Natasha Denona is better. Your money is going towards better ingredients, all of that, but it's a $107 difference. So I'm gonna let you make that choice. So the other ones, the next ones that we're gonna take a look at is the Aurora palette. So this guy from Alter Ego is 16 buckaroos, $16, that's under 20, where the Sunrise palette is $65, so about a $50 difference. Now the Natasha Denona packaging, this is the hard packaging and you can poke the shadows out, all of this extra little goodies that you do not have with the Alter Ego. It's again, just the plain cardboard packaging with a mirror, feels quite nice, not gonna lie, but this packaging is obviously nicer. Um, and then there's a design with the Aurora here, but let's take a closer look at the two palettes. Same stitch, different placements of the colors. Is it different placements? Yeah, okay, yes. Different placements of the colors, but same exact colors. I will admit I'm not even really the biggest fan of the Natasha Denona version of this, mostly because it's just not my kind of color story. So I wasn't really impressed with this one either. I definitely think again, the Natasha Denona formula is better for sure. The Alter Ego one, I feel like this palette, the colors blended away even more so than in the Artemis palette and the other palette that I'm gonna talk about. So something about the quality of this one 
isn't as good as the others. Again, this is a $50 price difference. I mean, definitely workable. And honestly, what's really interesting is sometimes, as you guys know, if you're a Natasha Denona fan, she plays around with formulas and she doesn't really do a good job. She, she experiments and then sometimes it's a fail. I feel like Alter Ego does a good job of correcting where her mess ups are because sometimes Natasha just has a complete fail and I almost feel like Alter Ego capitalizes on that and they're like, okay, we can't make it this amazing formula like sh Natasha had intended, but we can make it better. And so like the shade Dawn right here, I feel like is better than the Natasha Denona. But overall, I do think that the Natasha Denona, your money should go towards this more just because I feel like these colors wipe away, especially in the shimmer shades here. I feel like the shimmer shades in the Aurora palette don't really stick to my eyes as good. But again, it's still a fine palette. You know, it's not bad. $16. Okay, so this last little mashup here that we have is with the Ultra Ego Goddess Palette, which I'm not gonna lie to y'all, very, very <laughs> impressed with this guy. So this one looks like it's sold out on the website, but it is also $16. The packaging is different than the Natasha Denona Gold Palette, and the Natasha Denona Gold Palette, by the way, is $129 because you get a lot of product, but you only get 15 shades in the Natasha Denona Palette. So it's a bigger price differentiation compared to the Sunrise Palette. And the packaging is a little bit different. We don't have the gold covering. It's not even like the same color. So let's take a look at the inside here. Now the gold palette is one of my favorites from Natasha Denona, so I was very interested in seeing how Alter Ego compared. And so here you can take a closer look. I'm not even gonna lie. In some shades, a few shades, I prefer the Alter Ego. Hear me out. I feel like in this palette, Natasha Denona experimented with a lot of new formulations and they kind of were not very good. I did not like when she tried this new cream to powder formula. This shade has zero pigmentation. This glittery shade, again, doesn't pick up too much. You really have to dig in. This shade is very flaky. And all three of those bad shades, I'm telling you, Alter Ego capitalized on that and they made it better. They really did. I'm not messing around. Now, that being said, overall, you know, as far as the mattes go, the shimmers go, the Natasha Denona is creamy it's more pigmented it blends better it stays on the eyes better it's just going to wear better but I'm really 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 impressed with the goddess palette because they nailed the tones I feel like this palette is probably the most similar like very 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 minimal differences between swatch to swatch they even nailed the textures down and made them better in some of the weirder bad formulas that Natasha had I really think based on the three that I have from Alter Ego this is the best of the three that I've tried. I don't know. I prefer the Natasha Denona. I can tell the difference in the quality. I feel guilty saying that Alter Ego would be better, but let me just say this. With the value difference, if you're tight on money and you don't want to, you don't have the ability to purchase the Natasha Denona formula and you love, love, love the color story, the Goddess Palette is really good for $16. For a $16 palette, I'm impressed. It's not perfect, but neither is the Natasha Denona, and I spent $129 for it. I do have a difficult time saying like, oh, the Natasha Denona is so much better than the Alter Ego. At the end of the day, yes. The Natasha Denona is better than the Alter Ego. Your money is going to the actual creator of the palette, not somebody else who is profiting off of somebody's idea. It's an Italian formula. I love my Italian formulas. There's a lot of things to justify morally putting your money towards Natasha Denona, but that being said, wherever you choose to spend your money, I really don't care. You know, it's an eyeshadow palette at the end of the day, and I mean, $129 for an eyeshadow palette is kind of robbery for an eyeshadow palette. So if you like the color stories, I do think Alter Ego is worth looking into, but there's a lot of factors. You know, and like I said, I'm trying to remain as neutral as possible, and I just I told you how the formula is compared. So I'm gonna let you guys make that decision again, completely for scientific purchases. So again, completely for scientific purposes. I couldn't help myself. 
<laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I hope you found it helpful. Let me know your thoughts. I'm really excited for the comment section on this one. I do ask though that we be kind to all parties involved, whether that's me, that's Alter Ego, that's Natasha Denona, or somebody else in the comments who may have an opposing view as you because when we get to these discussion opinion based things on the internet they can get a little bit nasty that's not my goal here that's all i have for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next one goodbye goodbye